talk. Talk fast. Who first? My name is Sarah Connor. August 29, 1997. It was supposed to be Judgment Day. But I changed the future. Saved three billion lives. Enough of a resume for you? No. You may have changed the future, but you didn't change our fate. protect you. Never seen one like you before. Almost human. I am human. Just enhanced. Why do you care what happens to her? Because I was her. Sarah! I can see you're very upset. I'm going to help you protect the girl. because of me if you don't make it everybody dies expect a big pain brother my whole body's a weapon sorry when this is all over I am going to kill you I understand that I'll be back. said like 500 times already i have no idea where he is don't know where he's headed either north south west east mexico the moon i don't have a clue 
But yo, even if I did, who wouldn't tell you? Because I've been watching the news, same as everybody else. I seen that little cage of his they kept him in. I heard about what all they did to him to make sure he kept cooking. So sorry. I don't know what to tell you. No way I'm helping you people put Jesse Pinkman back inside a cage. I believe there are answers in the sky. Up there is where I have found the greatest happiness. Gentlemen, to predict the weather could save hundreds of thousands of lives. We are scientists, not fortune tellers. You'll get your chance. They'll realize your worth. I think they know my worth quite well enough. Prove them wrong, James. I'm a really good aeronaut. I want to use what I'm good at. Women don't belong in balloons. And she makes such a show of herself. Miss Wren, I need to make studies of the air. I'm not a coachman for hire. You are the only person who could fly us higher than anyone has ever been. So will you? Begins. Don't you wish to be up there with them? Some reach for the stars. Some push others towards them. We're about to get wet. Is this balloon not the strongest it's ever been? Even so, it can't fight the weather. Oh, God! I have a feeling they're not coming back. We're travelling into an unknown. on a different island by yourself for three days and three nights. Look around you. It's your own slice of paradise. Hey, wait. Can you at least tell me your name? Stay close to the fire. So how long have you been here for? Since I was little. Were there other people here too? Just my mother. You can't ever go through here, OK? She'll kill you if she finds you. The person that was supposed to pick me up, she's dead. I found her boat shipwrecked. I saw your mother. I think she killed her. I see these things at night. These terrible things at night. She's stuck here, just like us. Let's just get out of here while we still can. I have to help her. Don't leave without me. You have no idea what you're doing. Something is always here. What did you do? Do you feel a sense of achievement? In what regard? In any regard. <laughs> Do you? A new chapter of my life has begun. Already I 
I can feel the weight of this crown I wear. I've been forced to rely upon the counsel of men whose loyalty I question every waking moment. I need men around me I can trust. I'm here because you are my friend. King has enough friends. King has only followers and foe. But I will come with you. that really, really tall girl that you go to school with? Would you maybe wanna? Well, that's me. <laughs> um, uh, never, never mind. 16 years old, six foot one and a half. Well, how's the weather up there? Nice sweatpants, Sasquatch. What'd you say to my best friend? Uh, Farida, please. Honey, you just have to be strong in the face of adversity. Oh, I love it. That's the one. You're perfect. I just think it's crazy you won't date a short guy. Do you really think that at any moment some taller than you perfect guy is just gonna walk through that door? Okay. I'm going in. You are? No, of course I'm not. The guy got out of customs, what, an hour ago, and she's already marking her territory. How you liking America so far? I'm liking America very much so far. One day, Jody, you're gonna stand up and say, I love all 73 inches of myself. Hello. Hi, I'm the new exchange student in your school. I was hoping you wanted to go with me to the homecoming test. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, <laughs> gotcha. Let's face it, Jody, you're the tall girl. I just want you to feel normal. Dad, every time you try to make me feel more normal, you just end up making me feel like more of a freak. I need your help. Little sister. I've been waiting for this day to come my entire life. I'm going to extreme makeover the crap out of you. Let's get to work. Push a little so you're telling me that a lip gloss and a lip glass are too much. Stop stressing. I look like grandma's couch. Or a beautiful mermaid princess. Now this is me. I like new Jody. Face your fears, Jody. Going after what you want, Jody. I've been in love with this girl since elementary school, and this new guy blows up my plan. <laughs> You're moving in on my man. No, I'm not. Stay away from him. I will. Stop agreeing with everything I'm saying. Okay. <gasps> We've all got something about ourselves we wish we could change. You're my big little sister. That's me. The only thing that we can control is how we deal with it. When you're a tall girl, it's it's the only thing that people see. It's not the only thing I see. I just want to make sure that you don't get hurt. Hey, hey, hey! Thought I told you guys to settle down. Don't make me call the cops. He is the cops, dude. I got an idea. If my brother bowls three strikes in a row, he buys a round of drinks. If he can't, we'll leave. He's really good. We forgot to tell you. Pizza, 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 pizza. You know, if you were going off to war, I would do the patriotic thing. Buy you a drink, invite you back to my place. I don't know how we ever broke up. You're just so charming. I got a business plan for a fleet of food trucks. What you know about running a business? A lot. I actually read books. You read like magazines like Guns and Ammo. Callahan. Go on. Tell me. Slam Ben Daly's head into your... In fleeing the I'll find him. Look at me! Look at me! I don't think you deserve a sentence. You mean I don't deserve 25 years for defending yeah. myself? I'm sorry, Cal. Our hands are tied. You know we all think his sentence is unfair. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know how to be your dad. I didn't need you to be my dad. I just needed you to be my brother. I'm gonna break him out. Cal, what are you talking about, man? I don't need anything from you guys. I wanted to let you know. Talk to him. I listen to you. We're worried about you. I can pull it off. Bring him back to me. Now, this isn't how we do things. This is how we do things. He's out. What are you talking about? Listen, He's out. We're gonna make this work. The plan stays the same. What is going on? This is insane. It's not working, man. You're going to get caught. No, 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 no!